Hello everyone, welcome back to another Dawson video. Um, this will also be unedited because it revolves around the Toon Critic issue again. Many of you think, oh, I've overstepped my boundaries, I was right, I was wrong, but I'm gonna go to the page. And the person right here, who my cursor is over, I don't mean to single you out, but he is somewhat right. How many times, may, how many times do you make mistakes the same time a mistake before it's no longer a mistake? Basically, piggybacking off of that, um, Coming from me, someone with a developmental disability called autism, I know this to be a fact that um, many people with autism get in trouble a lot with the law and with parents because they're slow. They don't know right from wrong at the beginning. It takes them a long time to figure it out. Knowing from experience, I know this as a fact. So, before you start rancing about how my way to go about this was completely and utterly wrong and that I didn't know what I was talking about, I know exactly what I'm talking about. I have a developmental disability called autism, Asperger's syndrome, and I have had it for most of my whole entire life. Knowing that I've had this disability, I knew I'd be struggling to do anything that I wanted to do. May it be becoming an animator, may it be becoming a photographer, which are my goals, maybe even a CNC operator. It makes it harder for people with disabilities to understand. Now I can see why you can all not understand my perspective. Despite the fact that I may not understand things at a certain time or place, but I do understand many things and like to do my own investigations on my own. Figuring out what was going on, how it was happening, how long it's been happening, who, what, when, where, and why. And now that I know the who, the what, the when, and the where, and the why, I can now put out my full entire thoughts on the Toon Critic scenario. According to every single video I've ever watched, there were two girls involved. One that was 22 and one that was under the age of 18. I will not be releasing those names because I do not feel like I need to mention those names because many other people know the names already there's no point we already all know the names there's no point in saying the names again but I'm just here to tell you guys I know my perspective and I still think by cutting all ties with tune is a bad idea who are the people who are going to watch after him and make sure he doesn't do it again? His family is not going to watch him that well. That's why he, he had friends. Friends are supposed to be watching closely and making sure this shit doesn't happen again. I'm sick and tired of people telling me I'm completely wrong. And some people agree that his friends took the right steps. But I still feel like they took the wrong steps. Since I'm a yes I canner and a leader, an old leadership member from Canyon High School, leadership was a program to help people get into the world and know this type of stuff and to prevent this type of stuff. And we, if you look up Canyon High School and look up their record for how many people are doing in bad things on their campus like smoking 
um, bullying. There is no bullying on that campus whatsoever because yes I can and leadership is there. We are there. We will prevent it before it happens. It is our job to watch that campus like a hawk. If we see a kid sitting all by themselves at a table, we will go sit with that student because they're either new or they haven't made any friends at the school yet. So we will go out of our comfort zone and we will sit down with them, talk to them, introduce ourselves. And um, many people find it weird most of the time how outgoing I've become because it may be a shock to you guys, but I was a recluse. I didn't talk as much as I do now. I didn't even make YouTube videos as much as I do now because it was thanks to Yes I Can and leadership that I was able to come out of my comfort zone to make these videos. The only reason I have so many videos on my channel and so many subscribers is because I came out of my comfort zone because of Yes I Can. Now, you guys may be wondering, what is Yes I Can? Yes I Can was a program d designed and funded by its own little thing that started in some schools and as it became more apparent that the program was needed, there are still some programs still running, some programs ran out of funds, there, it doesn't exist at certain schools anymore. There used to be a Yes I Can program at Saugus High School in California uh, at Saugus, but um, they ran out of funds, so they had to scrap the whole program because they just didn't have the money in the budget to keep the program around. Even with all the fundraisers, there just was not enough money. But Yes I Can was a program designed for people on and off a disability so that they could learn about disabilities and the different types of disabilities and how to react with the people with the disability. I may be someone with autism and one of our things is we don't like being treated like we're different or like we're our own thing. Like we don't like it when people criticize us for when we act weird or when we act bizarre it it's just not we don't like it period we don't <coughs> but um i am continuing to ramble about yes i can and to, i'm not going to continue to ramble about it even though it's a swell program, it's a good program. Um, it doesn't exist in other, it exists in some different countries. It was a program for people with disabilities. It was a special education class for kids with a disability. It, it was a slow paced class and it was teaching you about the different disabilities, how to interact with people with that disability and how to treat the person with the disability because we don't like people with autism spectrum disorder we do not like it when you treat us special we're not special we have all the same skills as you which is why um the yes i can at canyon high school we always threw a, a we threw a festival and the last um festival we had was summer meltdown the 13th annual was the last of the summer meltdown because um, new students coming in just weren't going to food nights, just weren't doing their part, and it, it just fell out of disarray, and there was nothing left for us to do. But um, I am... want to say that we still do a festival um we are having coming up soon i think in february no i think it's 
You'd have to check on our Yes I Can Family Instagram. There's the flyer on Instagram for our event. You'd have to scroll really far down to find it, but there's a flyer for Mads Fest. Um, I might make a separate video about Mads Fest um, so you guys know about it, but um, it's a really cool festival. It, these festivals, the Summer Meltdown, Mads Fest, it was all put together by the students. The only people helping us through it was the teachers, which um, Lisa Lemonman, it used to be Brett Lieberman was a part of the Summer Meltdown. But after that died out, um, he no longer teaches Yes I Can, and it went back and it went to someone else. Um, but it's a really cool festival. I love helping them out. I love going to some of the food nights. It's really interesting. I wanted to go to the food night um, that was tonight, but uh, things come up and you can't go. Even though I graduated, I still go to Yes I Can. I'll email Miss L and be like, hey, can I visit? It's a really loving class and it, it's a really loving place. But that's not why I'm making this video. It's not to just talk about Yes I Can. It's also to talk about leadership. Leadership was a program later that later came up to help um, stop bullying. Mute it. I'm sick and tired of having freaking football in my background in the news. Shut up. But um, yeah, it it's a really good program it helped us figure out the signs of when someone's going over the edge with bullying like you guys know how some schools have those shootings it's either because the kid was being bullied he was issues at home that's why they need friends because when they have friends the friends usually help them out through those situations and um, another reason of the leadership program was to make people feel comfortable with their surroundings, help stop bullying, to get involved on campus and out of campus to help people out. And um, the program was really fun. Well, I wouldn't say it was fun. We had little events we do every once in a while like um we made t-shirts saying free hugs and we walked around campus with them and tried to see how many people wanted a hug they're really interesting programs but um canyon high school is the only and california is the only one with this program and I just think if every school had this program, this event would have never taken place because um, we would have had people in the fandom who had the knowledge to see the signs, but since no one had the knowledge or could see the signs, there was no intervention or any words spoken out or there was nothing anyone was doing but um i'm steering away from the topic back to tune back to tune i've been rambling too much about yes i can and leadership back to tune critic now i know you all are either upset mad sad whatever your feelings are about the scenario but until we put those feelings aside, we can't move forward through this ordeal. Until we put those feelings aside, there will be no progression. Until we progress by putting our feelings aside and getting down and actually figuring out why he did it, it would make more sense because nobody knows why. He did it. There's always a reason why. The why is still missing in the equation. Everyone is missing the simple 
simplest question. Why? We need to start asking ourselves, why are we taking this so far? Why is this so important? Why are we not trying to figure out why he did it? We don't know every single portion of detail. Because until we know why, it makes no sense. It makes no sense. But it, but piecing together the information I got from many of you and from the comment sections, I slowly pieced it together, but there's still one thing missing. The motive. What was the motive? Until the motive is found, we cannot start jumping. That is my scenario. I know these videos usually get the most views when I rant about something I usually don't talk about. But um, I decided to hold um, my Legends of Equestria video to make this video. Which, don't worry about the Legends video. I will be making that video soon enough. Um, I might be... Um, we're recording it tomorrow. I think it's um Yeah, it's on the seventh around five in the afternoon or around um one in the afternoon I will be online on Legends of Equestria recording a video of me running around Ponytown. But besides for that, getting back into the topic, I know I jump around, it's hard to follow what I'm talking about. Now, because I ramble a lot, but that's my disability. I can't stay on one topic, I can't stay in one place. So it's hard for people to keep up with me, but if you can keep up with me, I applaud you. Because brought water in here but um getting back to tune i have pieced every single information about it and um most of you are right it is wrong he was wrong everything he did was wrong i never said i backed him up I never said I support him. I never said I forgave him. I don't even think I will be able to forgive him. Forgiveness must be earned. It can't just be handed out. Right now he has broken every single thing we held dear in this fandom. But here is our problem. We are dying because of this issue. The fandom will fail if we can't move past the issue and go forward. Until we take the step forward past this, we will not move on as a fandom. And I know it's weird for me to say this. And it's weird for me to even talk about this, to say eh, everything like this, but <sighs> I just feel like we're reading too much into it until we move on or stop talking about it and just move and take the step forward instead of taking 50 steps backward which we are doing just because of this scenario we've taken 50 steps backward instead of 50 steps forward until we forget and move forward past this ordeal 
we will never heal as a fandom. But since no one has said it yet, we need to move past this and we're, we are better than this. We need to stop ranting about it and we need to move forward. Until we move forward, we will never remember. Because we will remember... Okay, scratch, scratch what I said a couple seconds ago. Until we move forward... Now I'm lost in my train of thought. Oh, now I remember. To move forward, we must first remember. But since we remember, we will forget. But to forget is to remember. So remember that as long as we remember this ordeal, we will never move forward. But it's the ordeal itself that will strengthen the fandom. Because no fandom is free of this stuff. No fandom is free. There's the anime fandoms. Well, the anime fandom. God damn it, Phil. I had to throw the phone out of the damn room because it was ringing. But, anywho, back to the top. We need to strengthen the fandom from this. Every fandom is strengthened over this but us. Because we're not moving past it. As long as we remember, as long as we move forward instead of backward and until we stop ranting about it, we will never move forward. It is time to band together as a fandom and move forward, not backward. I know this is a weird video. And I'm pretty sure none of you expected me to ever talk for this long. But we all know it to be true. As long as we are holding on to this, we will never progress. Until we let it go, we will not progress as a fandom. Yes, what he did was wrong. Yes, it was heinous. Yes, he did get in trouble. It's up to him to find his way out. Now he might come back as someone different or you might come back as the same I'm not saying we should forgive him I'm not saying that we shouldn't he has had plenty of chances to make up for his wrongs but no one is truly perfect if we were all perfect, it would be a utopia, but it would also be boring. Because everyone would be almost exactly the same. And no one wants to be the same. We all want to be different in our own way. And it's time for us to let go of the past. And look to the future because until we reach the future of this fandom we will never forget this ordeal because this ordeal might strengthen this fandom for the better or for the worse is completely up to everyone But I don't think this will weaken the fandom. I think it will strengthen it. How the fandom changes now is entirely up to everyone else. 
I can't change it alone for the better I can't change it for that for the worse I can't even do that whichever way it goes is completely up to everyone else whether we get stronger or we get weaker and we die out like van card fight vanguard if you're wondering what card fight vanguard is it's a um card game where you had little monsters you fight with as quickly as it appeared it quickly died out because eh, just not as many people like the game they like the anime more than the actual card game it was a very complicated card game very complicated you can look it up on youtube but um we all know what he did was wrong whether you be sad or mad whether you be glad that he's gone it doesn't mean he'll be gone forever there's always like how someone always says no matter how dark your soul can be well no one ever said that how dark your soul could ever be there's always one shimmer of light and as long as there's that shimmer of light they can come back to the light and as long as there's a shimmer as long as you have a heart as as long as you have a heart of light there will always be darkness lingering inside therefore we all have a dark side and we all have our light side it's hard to tell which we are because no one truly shows their true colors now do they no one likes to act like themselves talk like themselves and basically by making this video I'm talking entirely like myself when I I when I thought about making this video I didn't think I was gonna rant for this long hell if I was making a review video for anything I was probably gonna do um the MLP movie review but I didn't feel like doing a review on that because I would rant about it for far too long or far too short But remember, this fandom either fails or succeeds is entirely up to everyone. Whether this strengthens us or destroys us is up to everyone. We could either hold on to it and let it destroy the fandom, or we can let it go and strengthen the fandom by not forgetting it because as long as we remember this incident we should be more aware and more lenient now i know i'm starting to sound a lot like dr wolf like i'm a, like i know what i'm talking about let the truth be known this is unscripted. I did not script anything. I do not script my videos. Any video you see on my channel is unscripted. Most are unedited. By most, I mean 90% of my videos are unedited because I feel... Lily, shut up. Duh. but I'm gonna end this rant here now remember whether we prosper from this or not is entirely up to all of you so I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope to see you all in the next video bye bye